Yeah. What's cracking about the truckers around the gosh dang world? Back again with the bison. And as you can see, some new things are done today. New things are freaking done. Now, I apologize for the delay in truck videos. If you guys watched my last one, you guys know that I was in YouTube jail and I uh, couldn't get out for seven days. So that's been freaking exciting. But all I've wanted to do is come out with a new truck video because we got a, quite a few things done on the son of a dick. So with one being that front light bar. But we're going to go around the whole truck today, basically telling what we got done and uh, what is to come very, very soon. Ah, yeah. What's cracking? Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Here on the wind chain with all the lights. We are here at our friends, the Edge Automotive in Inglewood, Colorado. And uh, they're gonna be installing the lights for us. You know, I just don't really like to mess with electrical and with these rear, with these rear lights right here, you gotta have a wiring harness all the way to the front. So that's something I really wanna do. So we're gonna have them do it. And uh, they've built a few of these ZR2 Bisons before, which is kind of cool. So they know quite a few things about them and they might, uh, might have a couple ideas for me and well, so we're gonna run in here and uh, give them a chat. Today the ninth. Tech sheet, yes. Speed. So that was my boys over at the Edge Automotive in Inglewood, Colorado. Those guys are awesome, man. I've worked with uh, quite a few 4x4 four by four shop, four four shops, as you guys have known. And I have never, ever gone back to them because of the ridiculous shoddy work that they do and um, the issues that come along with it. Like, for instance, when I got the roof rack on the, uh, on the old uh, uh, Dirty Max... You guys remember what happened with that. Cracked my roof, and then they were like, oh, what? And then I took it in for them to tighten it back down and get everything fixed, and they didn't even do anything, and they had it for eight hours. And they're like, oh, I thought we did it. I'm like, fired. <laughs> Golly. But anyways, these guys, The Edge, they've uh, they've built a lot of different trucks and everything like that. They've actually built a super badass bison just like this before. So I wasn't having them do too much besides the lights. I wanted them to do the electrical because... I hate electrical. I freaking hate electrical. So I had them hook up the light bars for me. We didn't just get one light bar. Well, the other ones don't really count, but we got this one, which is a 20, 20 inch in the front. So the last truck video we made, we put on this low tube front center section here. It gives us a bull bar, gives us a little extra protection for our front end. You know, when we're in the back roads or anything like that, you never know when a tree branch or something's gonna pop out. You don't want it to go straight to your freaking grill, right? So we got the bull bar. Uh, or just in case we smash into a tree, you know what I'm saying? Had too many, uh, too many Coca-Colas or something like that, you know? <laughs> so spoiling, dude. Uh, we're not Canadian. But we went with the Rigid Industries blacked out, uh, I think this is the, uh, 20 inch, 20 inch light bar. Fits perfectly, actually. I was like, I didn't know that they were this thick. I have one on the dually as well, but I just forgot how big they were. I'm like, dang, that fits like absolutely perfect. So... They got that in for me. They centered it. As you guys probably saw in the video, they were working really hard on that guy. So they got this thing hooked up, which is awesome. I tell you guys all the time, if you're going to do a light bar, don't do it over your windshield. Trust me, if you guys actually want it to be accessible and you want it to actually work and be what utilize what's the word i'm looking for yeah be be uh you know used to its full potential yeah yeah yeah, yeah that yeah uh, get it mounted on your bumper facing out and don't get it too far down because you know you you're sitting a lot further back than the light bar. So you want it to be basically perfectly straight on, which this light bar is perfect right now. It lights up the road really nice. When you have it on top of your windshield and everything, it bounces off your hood. It kind of comes back into your eyes and you don't see as much. Now, it still does give you a lot of light, but not as much and not as good and well lit as uh, having it on your bumper. So love that. As you can... As I was saying, 
Also, we got the winch mounted. Yes, so that has to do somewhat electrical. I noticed, you know, it's pretty easy to actually get in there, but the electrical to, you know, get it all hooked up to the battery or anything, I, I just didn't want to handle the son of a dick. So this is a, which one is this? The 9500 XPS. The XPS is the uh, synthetic rope version. And uh, it's basically hidden under here. You can't even see the winch, like at all, right? They're like, where, where the heck is the freaking thing, man? Like, I can't even get to it. It's fully enclosed, which is super cool. Which you guys might be saying like, well, how do you hook up the remote and all that kind of stuff? There still is access to hook up the remote, but it's freaking wireless, dude. So we're gonna try that out. I haven't even tried it out yet. It's a 9,500 pound winch. Um, if we come in here, they basically gave me all the all the stuff that, wait, we just hanging out. your pants or something? You're like, yeah. yeah. All right, so give me uh, like some remotes here, which is super cool. That's the, what? What? Dude, is this a wireless thing for the actual wired remote? What the dick, dude? That's crazy. That's insane. So I don't know, man. I don't know about all this technological crap, man. I just want it to work, right? I don't think this has a battery in it yet. I think we gotta do that. But anyways, basically, like, just got this wireless remote right here from Warren. And uh, and guys, I'm telling you right now, I've had, I have four Warren winches. I've got one on the Bourbon, one on the trailer, one on my other trailer, and one on this now. And they're my favorite. Obviously, their name for, speaks for themselves. But uh, basically, just in and out buttons. And, you know, you could be in the truck, you know, winching somebody out or something like that, working it in the truck and not having to have the remote and be on the outside, which is super cool. So we'll hook that up soon and make sure it's good but we got the winch done that's very important for a hunting truck man this obviously is a hunting truck build so you never know when you're going to be on the back roads hunting elk or something in the mountains of colorado and you're going to get stuck or you're going to start freaking sliding down a mountain you need to get the winch out and winch yourself back onto the trail or help a buddy out that got stuck that uh, doesn't have a cool hunting truck like this you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> freaking <laughs> that is not it that is not it ladies and gentlemen so in the front here oh oh okay this is one issue that we actually ran into in the edge guys, the guys over at the edge, which by the way, I'm going to put all their, uh, I'm going to put their, their, um, their info in the description box below. If you guys are in the Colorado area and you want any four by four bolt on stuff or anything done to your truck to build it, something like this, all you got to do is give them a holler. They're super cool. And, and they'll give you guys a good deal. I love those guys over there, man. Um, I was working with Chris, so you can just tell them out law sent you. All right. The fog lights, as you can see, there's nothing in here on either side. So what I ended up doing, I made him a little mistake and I ordered these guys over here from Rigid. These are the R236s, right? So this is the light. Now, it perfectly fits in there. The light perfectly fits in that little hole. But if you notice where it does fit perfectly in there, for everybody to see, I'm about to drop it out of the package. There is no mounting hardware for this guy there's it's a it's just these little pin guys right here so there's probably something that i didn't order as far as mounting this stuff up because i did order the aev version of getting these lights mounted in here which i don't know if you can barely see but there's a little pin right here and then on the bottom you just basically you you uh you bolt it back in so there is a, a spot where you can mount it now and these guys are cool they left everything they installed everything for me so all i got to do is get the new lights plug them in and and tighten them down right there so that's that's awesome what i ended up doing is i needed to get the r246s those are the ones that are exactly like this but they come with the mounting hardware these are actually used for like tractors and stuff i guess because a lot of tractors already uh you know you can just set them wherever so uh I kind of read that after the fact of already ordering them. So when you go to order parts, make sure you know what you're ordering. So I made a little mistake there. So I'm going to return these guys and then we'll get the R246s and then get those guys in there, which is super cool because we'll get a little bit more light and they'll basically be plugged right in here. As you can see, I've got my two light buttons here that they installed for me, but the fog lights will just be this button right here. So that's super cool whenever I plug it in it'll work just off of that button right there which is super cool i said super cool way too many times that's super gay hey, oh. <laughs> oh but you notice there is one more light right here besides the front light bar let's go around back and check that one out or those out excuse me so we can see they're on right here boy look at that we got the cubes in the rear very freaking cool so 
this basically helps us. Like I told you guys, man, AV already had cutouts for these things. So I'm like, why not utilize that? Because that'll be actually perfect for whenever we're cutting up a deer or anything like that. When we're gutting them out, you have these down here. When you put the tailgate down, it does not block the light whatsoever. Also, when you're backing up, I do have a backup camera in this guy. So when I'm backing up, if I can't see with the, the, the lights from the license plate or wherever they come from, these help light it up like insane. So that's super cool, but we could be gutting a deer right here, blah, blah, blah. We can see everything and then put the tailgate down, throw them in. We've got the light on the back. It's freaking American Airlines, dude. Interrupting Outlaws Ventures is not American. God. Oh, I almost pooped. So yeah, man, everything's starting to come together as far as lights go. The only ones I gotta basically fix are these, uh, are these little guys right here, these fog lights. And those are gonna be a driving diffused light. So they're not gonna be a spot so, like this is. These are gonna basically give light. Instead of going straight, they're gonna basically have this beam pattern that goes out like this so I can see everything around me. Super cool. And they'll actually be a better fog light than what's on there now. When you use like stock fog lights from a, from a tr you know, that are on a truck or anything like that, they don't really help in the fog, like at all. You want it to have a, you know, a light beam that's closer to the road and brighter and they're not really that bright. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely fix that. Now! comes what are we going to be doing in the future to this guy i've already talked about different things that we need to do i've already got the new wheels i have not ordered the tires yet and this is my question to you guys because i met a new friend i met a new friend guys and i think what we're going to do is obviously we're going to lift this thing right so the edge automotive they've been uh They've been helping me uh, get everything ordered. They've got their, they're in with BDS and uh, BDS Suspension, who's the, the company that, that'll lift this thing. Well, not lift it, but they have the lift kits for this thing. They have a four inch lift for this guy. Now I have a buddy who has done this on his Colorado before with the same BDS lift, I think on a 2018. He said he can take that BDS lift four inches, but he said he can make it fit 40 inch tires. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, man. I don't know how that's freaking possible, but he's, you know, he's a good fab guy and everything like that. He said he can make 40 inches fit under there. Now, I don't think I want 40 inch tires. I think that's pretty big, but listen, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. All right. I'm going to leave, I'm going to strictly leave it up to them. Hmm. And this is kind of nerve wracking because they, they might say, you know, go forties and I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't even turn. So this is the way I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. Okay. We're going to put the four inch lift on here, right? So we're going to get a little bit of suspension lift on here. Um, it's going to work out well. BDS is a respected company. You know, it's it's going to be nice. We need a little bit more ground clearance, right? Especially when we're up in those deep trails. We're going over freaking rocks and all this crazy stuff. Right now, we've got 30, like, these are like 32s or 31s, I think. Oh, 265, so yeah, like 30s. I was going to go with a 35 at the biggest, right? Which obviously, you don't even really have to do any trimming required once you put that 4-inch lift to fit 35s. I personally think we should do 37s. 37s are the same size tire that's on the K20 over here, man. Come here, look at this. This is a 37 inch tire. What? Nothing. I was you just good? waving at myself oh, you're in the shadow. This is a 37 inch tire right here. Imagine this on the Colorado. <laughs> that's freaking huge, man. That is huge. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a 20 inch wheel like this. It's going to be a lot more rubber. It's a 6. 16 inch wheel i think it's a 16 that'll be on a 37 inch tire man what does that come up to your like lower hip yeah right at my lower hip okay let's go measure it okay <laughs> i've got i've got my hand here guys it's professional <laughs> professional you'll hold it professional measurement so right now dude <laughs> it's gonna go up to the top of this fender well pretty much if i put a 37 on there now it's gonna go up to the top of this fender well it's definitely gonna hit right so then the four inch suspension, he can make it fit 37s. Now he's got 40s on his. So we'll, we'll, the next video, I think we're going to be going and dropping it off with him. I'm going to order the lift kit, drop it off with him and then see what we can do. But I want you guys to tell me right now, you got three options. We can do 35s, we can do 37s, or we can do 40s. What do you think, in-law? Mm -hmm. I think 37s, you know, man, I, it's, it's, they're going to look, the 37s on this little truck are going to be huge anyway. Man. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to go with 35s. You're gonna go with 35s? Yeah. I think well, 
Okay, 35s. 35s will be like clean looking like this, you know? Mm -hmm. I think 35s will have a, like a little extra room and stuff like that, but 37s I think will fill up those wheel wells nicely. I think 40s might. Now he's got, when we go there, we'll see his with 40s and then we'll really make our decision. But, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. 35s, 37s, or 40s. What do you guys think when this thing gets a four inch lift? It's gonna be a good one. Make me a lucky lipper dog because I'm excited about this truck. Well, oh, why do I always say lucky lipper and it's never lucky lipper? <laughs> this is one of sweet tea, man. So this is my new daily. I love the sweet tea flavor. Now I know you guys have been asking. I just wanted to uh, update you guys. I know you guys have been asking me and like, oh my gosh, guy, like there's, it's always sold out and, and you know, you're only putting one flavor in at a time. We're basically trying to get caught up from the insane dude. Listen, I can say how insane mm. it was at launch. Oh, actually, I, it won't do it justice. Like you guys crashed the website a million times. There were so many freaking issues and technical problems we had. We figured them all out now. It took us, you know, like a week and a half to figure it all out and stuff. So we're basically restocking all the dip now because we, we couldn't release anything for a while. So. We're restocking everything right now and the next uh in this next week there should be a lot more flavors in stock for you guys to um so just just keep checking the website but oh look at that black spit boy god dang i'm telling y'all one of the biggest issues a lot of people were having was them saying that they're not spitting black enough maybe because it's not a tobacco leaf i think we fixed the issue man we made it a lot more juicy your fingers get more stained people wanted that 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 absolute you know juiciness that the old outlaw dip had we reformulate it once again for you guys and we think we got it figured out anything anybody ever emailed us about or messaged me about or anything we took notes on every single one and we reformulate to figure it out that took us a couple days and now all the new dip out there that you guys are ordering is a reformulated version and we want to hear what you guys have to say man we're working on this together and i just appreciate your guys feedback man i'm loving it so oh and by the way let's let's go over here really quick it's a little dirty guys it's a little dirty because last time we drove it was like, like a week ago and it was snowing really crazy and there's a lot of mud but Here's the beautiful bourbon truck. It's not, just don't look at that side. Just look, you know, kind of just, just admire it from a distance. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful bourbon truck, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this guy right here is available for you guys to win. All you got to do is sign up on outlawmerch.com for the shirt of the month. This is December shirt of the month, the Christmas shirt. Yeah, buddy. We got mud jugs on there. We got some arrows. We got the outlaw logo Christmas style. That's right. All you got to do is sign up for outlaw shirt of the month and you will be entered to win this son of a dick. You only have like like less than two weeks you got till the end of the year you got till december 31st and then in the new year we are picking the winner somebody at random who has signed up for the outlaw merch uh for the for the outlaw shirt of the month it's going to one of you man we're gonna sign the title and freaking send it right your way this could be yours dog that could be freaking yours dog man i'm gonna miss her mm -hmm. good memories <laughs> in the arms it's okay man so like i said last or next video we are going to be oh that's basically what it's going to be like when it's lifted to try to get up in this thing um next video is going to be us lifting this thing i'm pretty sure because uh there's other parts and stuff like that that are uh, going to be coming in now one more thing i want to talk about because we're building this together you know we're building this together and, and i and i wanted to let you guys know because i talked about the bed and i said you know the only way i want to do a a bed cover on this guy is if it gets out of the way because when we need to load a deer in here or something like that we need something to get out of the way now i said in a video that i don't think the i think the only thing that'll work is the roll one or the one that automatically comes out so you can get out of the way but a lot of people were bringing it to my attention and also my buddy mullet man brought it to my attention too because he just got one diamondback covers okay now hear me out this company, Diamondback Covers. I've been talking to them a little bit. And I want you, if, if you guys are watching this part right now, go hit up Diamondback Covers on Instagram, whatever social media, and you tell them, we want you for the perfect hunting truck build. We want you guys for the perfect hunting truck build on Outlaw's channel, okay? Because here's the deal. The Diamondback Cover comes all the way up. It's, di it's diamond plate. It's, it's a steel diamond plate cover that goes over your whole bed, right? And this is a small bed. This is a five-foot bed that the ZR2 Bison comes with, right? So what we're going to do is if we get a diamond back cover, which I think might actually be perfect because the back end comes up to like right here. So that's plenty of room to move a deer in here, whatever like that. And the, the front end 
comes up as well and acts as like a toolbox for a couple tools and stuff back here. The back end, and then you can slide stuff all the way back and you can still utilize all of this bed space. Not only that, this is what I love. When it's closed, you could freaking ride a four-wheeler onto here and strap the four-wheeler down and it comes with tie downs on every area. So like it's, it would be actually perfect for this truck and I think it would look sick too. So let me know what you guys think. And if you think it's cool, hit up Diamondback Covers and tell them they need to freaking work with this man because I think they'd be perfect for this perfect hunting truck. Tony Hawk, eat your heart out, dog. Oh, so anyways, guys, um, yeah, so, so far on this truck, we did the lights. Um, we got the, the wheels ordered. We'll be doing that soon. We got the windows tinted. We got the windshield tinted. We got the winch on. We got these beautiful, beautiful mountain country seat covers installed. Yeah, boy, yeah. It's starting to turn into a hunting truck now, man. I mean, we could be perfect with this guy. I mean, the bison's already, like I said, the perfect hunting truck, but we're gonna keep her going, baby. Hope you guys are enjoying these build vidges. I know we didn't do anything today. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what they did on the truck. Huge, huge shout out to the Edge Automotive. Make sure to go check them out. Give them a call if you guys want something done in your truck and uh, or shoot them an email or whatever. I'll put all their links and everything in the description box below. Shout out! Mm. Yeah, juicy. Hopefully I don't get kicked off YouTube again for that. <clears throat> Apologies. But you'll see you on the dip side. Merry freaking Christmas. Don't forget, sign up for the shirt of the month. Win that gosh dang bourbon. I love you mother truckers. And, oh yeah, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Speaking of spitting, perfect time to get a mud jug is right now. If you guys order before December, bleh, bleh, December 19th. Obviously this is the perfect Christmas gift that anybody could ever get right here. If you guys order before December 19th, it's almost guaranteed to get to you for Christmas. It says it on their gosh dang website, so it must be freaking true. Mudjug.com. This new yellow stealth just came back out. I love it. Pair it with your yellow dip and you'll be the happiest man in the world. Keep your freaking heel, Billy! Ah!